You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's Sugar J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video, you guys, is the moment that you and I, myself, have been waiting for. The tour of my new home. But before I turn on all these lights, okay? Because I don't even return on all the lights. Before I turn this camera around and just give you a tour of everything, I'm going to briefly just talk to you about some things. And while I'm talking, I'm just going to show you my favorite part of the community which is the gym because you know i'm a gym head make sure you subscribe to my j fitness bobs youtube channel fitness is going all the way up especially the content going all the way up because if you are like me and you struggle with weight gain i got you okay because the number one priority for 2022 is me and in your case it should be yourself so well, before I get into this video, please make sure you are subscribed, you guys, to all of my channels. Honestly, make sure you're following me on my social medias. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. Comment your love, your feedback down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for everyone who's already been congratulating me on my new home. I so greatly appreciate you guys. And by the end of this video, we're going to take a shot because your girl need that. I'm freshly off of work, so yeah, I'm currently sitting right in front of my front door, but also in my very spacious living room. Without certain people that has like literally been so active in my life, this could not have been possible. What I thought I wanted to do isn't what would have worked. So with the help of other people and their ideas, this works for me. Last year was a good year for me, you know what I mean? It wasn't really bad, it was, it was really good. Last year was definitely a year of all it takes, you guys, is... I don't know if you ever heard this, but all it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed. And I literally live by that, and I think I'm about to get that tatted on me somewhere because... That's really big for me. Um, I'm not sure if it, if it was last year or the year before last. It was last year. Like earlier in the year, I got the tattoo of everything happens for a reason with the cardinal bird. Yeah, I live by that, by that too. But literally going towards the end of the year, right before I started a new year, I was like, you know what? If I don't do it now, not that I'm gonna not never do it, but if I don't do it now, I just feel like I'm always gonna have some excuse and some reason and something's gonna come up, so fuck it. Just do it, big period. But it's, it's, it's two things in particular that I literally said that's gonna happen. Something that like literally goes hand in hand with whether you pray or manifest or you wish or you hope or you whatever it whatever it's called for you for me when it comes to me praying for certain things and also manifesting because i just don't manifest i be praying too i pray and i manifest for me both of them gotta go but not only do both of them gotta go i gotta put in the work for that shit so i can't just you know pray and i just can't manifest and i just can't ask and i just can't beg and i just can't do nothing without Honestly, putting the work behind that shit, I work my fucking ass off. Like, I really worked my ass off for a year, but I really been working longer than a year. Like, working my ass off. I mean, sometimes I was working my ass off for free. No cap. But I really, really honestly have worked my ass off. Worked my ass off, you guys. Um, just to have the things that I prayed about. Because I couldn't pray about it and not put the work in behind it right so 2020 i'm gonna take you back 2020 the end of the year was coming up and I, I got sick and tired and tired of being sick of what i was you know what i'm saying riding in driving in um it was co-signed with me and my ex and i really got petty i was really in still in that petty shit i really got tired of getting the bill in the mail and both our names was on it. it's like bruh now i don't i don't you know what i'm saying petty right but the bigger picture of it i had a little 
a little Kia Forte. Ain't nothing wrong with a Kia Forte, but I'm just saying, I had that shit and I was paying $5.75 car payment, you guys. Oh my God, I can't believe I was doing that shit. Was it $5.75? I'm cap. It was $4.75. It was $4.70. Was it four? It was. It was four. Which is which is the motherfucking which is the point? It was four. Which is the fucking point? And then my car insurance was still like one sixty something, and I was like, yo. I watching what everybody else do. I wanted some of that too. No cap. You know, I always seen people, they had this car this month, and then like a few months later, they got a whole new car. I'm like, bro, how the fuck you do that? Because right now, I still owe like $29,000 on this fucking Kia. So how the fuck? And I, I told my dad, I said, I said, look, <laughs> I want a new car I'm going to get. Hmm, you heard me? I said I, what I wanted, but then brr, I'm going to get a new car and my dad is not a negative person at all but my dad is my dad he's a dad right so he really like get to reality he's really blunt he's like i don't see that happening you still owe twenty nine thousand on this car there's no way that's that's going down right and i'm like <laughs> no corona i'm like yeah i am watch and I didn't make it a thing to like prove him wrong. I made it a thing for me because that's what I wanted and that's what I felt like I deserved. I wanted an SUV. I didn't know it was going to be a brand new car, but I wanted an SUV. Y'all, Jane Ray Road, bef even before my 27th birthday, I had it. I got it. It's in the parking lot right now. 2020 SUV sitting outside. So, you know, it would have been new if I was still in 2020, but you know, 2021 came, so boom, whatever. Anywho, either way it goes, brand new car, okay? Not even 100 miles on it when I got it. For about three years, I had been talking about, maybe I'm exaggerating, for about two years, I had been talking about getting my own spot. But I just kept procrastinating, and I just kept, you know, putting it on the burner, and like, eh, I don't need to go nowhere. I was really comfortable where I was at. So comfortable, you guys, that I wasn't making content because I was making excuses. But my excuses really did make sense because y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I am in my videos, especially when it comes to my reaction videos. And if you don't know, make sure you go subscribe to my J Files Reaction channel because I get rowdy. <laughs> I get rowdy. I get loud, I get rowdy, and you know, out of respect of my dad, I just don't be cussing up a storm when he's there. But when he leave, it's a mother, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party by Waka Flocka Flames. You think a Waka Flocka was in the damn house, no cap, but you know, we turn up. But then, you know, it, it, it gets to sometimes when I get off work and I wanted to go home and be productive. But y'all, I'll get home and my daddy playing Luther Vandross upstairs and he playing uh, Young Dolph downstairs. No cap. It'd be, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so then, boom, that was going on. Then it got to a point, like, you know what? I am really am going to get my spot. Let me let me try to cut down on any small bill that I can. So I stopped going to the gym. I stopped paying my membership because that was saving me $30 a month. You don't think it's a lot, but it's a lot. Do 30 times 3. What is that? That's almost $100. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, so make a long story short, you guys. I went through a process of trying to get an apartment. When I tell you I got... I got scammed. I didn't get scammed. The business was fraud as shit. And if that is the same thing, then so damn be it, okay? But yeah, it didn't go out the way that I wanted to. So I, boy, that was like about $600 down the drain. So I had to start my process over. But God is so good. Can I get it all the time in the comment section? All the time. I'll say for myself. He's so good, you guys, because I know somebody to this day that knew somebody all they life that knew somebody all day life that knew somebody i don't know when they knew somebody but then they connected me with that somebody and you know what i'm saying the road wasn't easy okay the road wasn't easy but november 23rd i got an email i don't know if it was november 23rd ding i got an email and i got approved 
and my move-in date was locked in December 21st. I had less than a month to prepare myself to move. And I ain't gonna lie, I almost started to freak out, but then I remembered, you know, all it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed. And I also remember, and I also tell myself to this day, and randomly, I shall not fear and I shall not worry. I, I be saying that like repetitively throughout my day sometimes when I find myself, you know what I'm saying, my mind, cause the mind is a crazy thing. But when my mind be going, no, focus, come back. I told myself that. I moved in my apartment four days before Christmas. That was my Christmas and my birthday gift to myself because let me tell you something, baby. I just, I just knew that that was all that a bitch was gonna be able to do. But nah, I was able to do more. And before I turn this camera around and turn on all these lights, cause I'm really trying to not turn on these lights. <laughs> it's not that deep. No, it is deep cause I'm paying bills now. So yes, it is deep. Um, God showed me my apartment and my dream before I even got approved for this apartment. It's crazy because I wrote it in my journal, but he showed me my apartment. Like, I felt the feeling. I've seen it, walked through it. It's crazy, but like real shit. And I put that in my journal. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do right now is just show you what the apartment looked like unfurnished. And y'all, that is a story time itself. Do you got time to listen to that? Okay, boom, let me just tell you. So I was, after I got approved, I was very anxious to get in this bitch. Like, oh my God, it's happening. You know, it's happening. And it's not too far from my dad and it's on my way to my dad's from leaving work. So, you know, when a bitch was getting off work, I was sliding through late night, creeping in the parking lot, slow driving and putting in crews and, you know, looking up there. Like, damn, they still ain't move out. I'm moving in next week. Why they ain't leave yet? Called the maintenance, I mean, called the leasing office. Like, how long does it take for y'all to clean the houses? She ain't gonna let me finish. Seven days. Okay. So I'm like, okay, they should be out there by tomorrow. Y'all, tomorrow came and I slid through again and I still seen patio furniture on the patio and they had their blinds open so I can see, you know, through the small window that they had pictures on the wall. And I'm like, yo, when they getting the fuck out? So I was like, let me just walk up the stairs. I wasn't gonna do nothing when I got to the top of the stairs. I was just gonna walk up the stairs. But y'all, I ain't even get to the first step and I realized I've been looking at the wrong building. The wrong, no, I'm sorry, the right building, the wrong apartment the whole entire time. So I walk over to the correct door and I just wiggle, wiggle the, um, the doorknob. Don't tell nobody on me. And the shit was open. So I did my own walkthrough before the move in. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah. I was even more excited. I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. I didn't expect it to look like this at all because when I got the tour, I was actually looking at a model of a two bedroom. <sighs> whatever, 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 whatever you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what the apartment looked like with no furniture.
and now I'm going to show you the apartment with furniture and then we'll walk back through and I'll explain, you know, certain things that I have in my home. So let me turn on all these lights. Maybe I should make this a part two. Maybe I should just release this tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a different breed, it catch you slipping, best belief, I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho, turn your wife to my hoe Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch